this is the question i will do it on the board now right look into this x to the power if you create to the power zero you know any number to the power zero is one upon then here power two that means these two terms are within the power two brackets so two to the power two you should take two times x to the power negative one times two power of a power power of a power negative two <coughs> when we are taking a power of a power you should multiply these two indices indices should be multiplied any number any term to the power zero is one therefore this is one now what we should do <coughs> simplify means you have to simplify this one further mm -hmm. two to the power two is you know four x to the power two x to the power negative 2 can be taken to this numerator then it becomes x to the power positive 2. negative index can be converted into positive by taking this from this right you take the, this term from the denominator place to the numerator place then the sign of the index should be changed this is the simplest form then. right is it clear right this is the question we have to write it in general in scientific notation this is in scientific notation we have to write it in general form what we should do hmm? this is equal to five six two but you have to shift the decimal point right according to the number given here if it is negative you have to shift them you have to move this decimal point three places into left one two three like this here now it should be zero zeros and here if you want you can put a zero then the number is zero point zero zero five six two it is in general form now right that is the way we write it right this is the question 348 348 thousand 0.05 it, sorry, 348,005. That means 348,005 should be written in scientific notation. This is given in general form. You have to write it in scientific notation. How do you write? Three point. The decimal point should be here. 3.48005 multiplied by 10 to the power, yeah, what? How many places you did? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the power 5. Right? It is 10 to the power 5. 5 places should be made. Okay. Here the question is this equation five within curly brackets three x plus one minus two within brackets x minus one cross curly brackets equals ten. You have to simplify first simple parenthesis simple brackets first. So three times x each term inside the bracket should be multiplied three times negative positive 1 it is positive 3 <coughs> negative 2 times x is negative 2x negative 2 times negative 1 negative negative positive 2 
shows 12 packets, it shows 10. Now 5, you simplify like terms, 3x and negative 2x, 1x, positive 3, positive 2, it is positive 5. First curl brackets equals 10. <clears throat> now you multiply each term by this 5. 5 times 1x, 5x, 5 times 5, 25 equals 10. Then 5x plus 25. You cancel out positive 25. You subtract 25 from this side. Here you subtract 25 from the other side as well. Then what we should do? 5x is here. 5x equals to negative 15. 10 minus 25 is negative 15. So both sides should be divided by 5. 5 to 5 cancel. x equals negative 3. Answer is negative 3. Is it clear? Yes, tell me stronger. V equals I brackets R plus R. Hmm? You have to make R the subject. Here, yeah, Isuranga, your chance. Hello. I, I yes. I need to read other side. Ah, you divide both sides by I. Yes. You, have, you have to make R the subject now. You have to make R the subject. Therefore, you divide both side by i yes okay i try to cancel v upon i equals capital r plus simple r now you have to make simple r the subject capital r minus yes you have to subtract minus capital r from both sides then plus r minus r cancel. Simple r equals v upon i minus capital R. That means therefore simple r equals v upon i minus capital R. This is then the answer. In this formula, r is the simple r is the subject. Right, then I will, I will read the question again. A square of side length 11 centimeter is made from a thin wire. Find the diameter of the largest circular bangle that can be made using this wire. Use 22 upon 7 for the value of five. What we should do here? <coughs> you have to find the largest bangle which can be made from this wire. First of all, you may draw a sketch of that rectangle. This is not rectangle, this is a square, no? Square. It is a square. Side length is 11. Side length of, a, of that square is 11 centimeters. Then you can find the total length of this wire by taking the perimeter of this square. If you calculate the perimeter of this square, that would be the length of this thin wire. Oh, what is the perimeter of this square? Perimeter equals 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11. There are 11. This is a square. A square means all sides are equal. Then it is 44 centimeters. That is the length of the wire. Then what we should do? We have to find the diameter. Using this wire, we are preparing a circular bangle. You have to find the diameter of it. Radius is this 
diameter is this. This is the diameter. You know, circumference of a circle is given by by d. D is the diameter. C is the circumference. Now, this wire has been used to prepare this diagram. Therefore, the circumference of this circle should be 44. 44 equals 5 value. They have given indication 22 upon 7. You have to find the diameter D. You do cross multiplication like this cross way multiply. Or else you can use this one as a formula and solve. You know, 44 is there here in the left hand side. 22 upon 7 times D. To cancel out this denominator D, you have to multiply this side by 7. Then you have to multiply this one by 7. 7 to 7 can be cancelled, right? Then here it is 22 D, 22 times D, 22 D, then 44 times 7, we keep it as it is. Let's see what we do. Okay. Now we are going to make D alone. To cancel out this 22, therefore you have to divide it by 22. This side also should be divided by 22 then. 22 to 22 can be cancelled. Here, therefore, D equals, D is along here, D equals, oh, 44 can be divided by 22. 22 divided by 22, 1. 44 divided by 22 is 2. Then 2 times 7, it is 14. Then the diameter of this circular bangle, the largest circular bangle, which can be prepared using this wire. The diameter is 14 centimeters. Is it okay? Then shall we move to our next? Shall we do this? Here, the area of the square A, B, C, D is 100 square centimeters. If BE is a centimeter, six centimeters. Find the perimeter of the figure. You have to find the perimeter of this. Here, so if the area of this square is 100 cent square centimeters, that means one of the side length of it should be 10 centimeters. Side length of it should be 10 centimeters. Therefore, BC also. 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, right? Then what we should do? To find CE, you need to find CE. AD also 10 centimeters because it is a square. You know, so all the sides are equal in a square. So they are equal in length, 10, 10, 10 here. Yeah. Therefore, BC also 10, but to find the perimeter of this figure, you need to find CE. It's a problem. What do you find CE? Oh, you can see a pi, uh, uh, right angle triangle. Right angle triangle is there. You can apply Pythagoras relation for this right angle triangle. Can you see BCE is a right angled triangle? Hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse of it? The side opposite to the right angle. It is BC. BC is the hypotenuse thing. You know, how do you apply Pythagoras relation for this right angle triangle? Now you can apply like this hypotenuse squared. It is BC squared. 10 squared. 10 squared equals 6 squared, sum of squares of other two sides, 6 squared and CE squared, 6 squared plus CE squared. 10 squared is 100 equals 6 squared is 36 plus CE squared. That means 100 minus 36 equals CE squared. Then 
CE squared equals 64. CE equals square root of 64. It is 8. 8 centimeters. Therefore, you can write here the length of CE as 8 centimeters. Now you can find the perimeter. Perimeter equals 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus sum of the length around the figure 6 plus 8. 10 plus 10 plus 30, 36, 36 plus 8 is 44 centimeters. This is the answer there. Right. Shall we move to the next part? This one. ABC is an equilateral triangle. ABC is an equilateral triangle. That means, right, but each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees, you know, it is 60 degrees. Here, this should be 60 degrees. Since ABC is an equilateral triangle, each angle is 60 degrees. Angles are equal in magnitude in an equilateral triangle. All sides are equal, all angles are equal. Here, this angle also is this. If EFA angle is 20 degrees, EFA, EFA, this angle is 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Then, what we should do? You have to find a B E angle, this angle. If this is 20 degrees vertical opposite angles, C F D should be 20 degrees. If it is 20 degrees, this angle should be what? 40 degrees. Why? This is 20 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Then here, this one 120 degrees. 120 plus this angle, other side 120 here. That means FCD angle. FCD angle should be 120 degrees. Angles on a straight line. 120 plus 20 is 140. 140, therefore, this CDA, CDF angle should be 40 degrees. If this is 40 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 40 plus 90, it is 130. Therefore, this should be what? 40 plus, if you consider EB, EBD triangle, EBD triangle, this angle is 90 degrees, E angle. E angle is 90 degrees, D angle is 40 degrees. 40 plus 90, it is 130 degrees. You know, sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So 90 plus 40 is 130. Therefore, this should be 50 degrees. 50. It should be 50 degrees. Here, that means EB, D angle. EB, D angle is 50 degrees. If it is 50 degrees, this ABC angle is 60 degrees, then what should be the magnitude of ABE angle? It should be 10 degrees, right? Okay. Express the magnitude of ABD. ABD, this angle, in terms of the magnitudes, BTC, this angle, BTC is this angle, and BCB, this angle. What we should do here, you know, sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So, you have to give ABD. ABD is this angle. This one. So to get that one, we should do. First, we write like this.
बी डी एंगल बी डी सी एंगल प्लस बी सी ई सी बी एंगल प्लस सी बी डी एंगल इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी एंगल एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल सीबीडी यू नो दैट एफ बी ए एंगल एफ ए एंगल प्लस ए बी डी एंगल प्लस डी बी सी एंगल इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्रीज एंगल्स ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंगल्स ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एफ पी ए एंगल एंड ए बी सी ए बी डी एफ पी ए एंड ए बी डी आर इक्वल बिकॉज बी ए इज द एंगल बाई सेक्टर दे आर फॉर इंस्टेड ऑफ दीज टू यू कैन राइट ट्वाइस ऑफ बी ए बी डी ए बी डी ट्वाइस ऑफ ए बी डी एंगल प्लस D B C angle equals one hundred eighty degrees. Right? Then here D B C angle equals one hundred eighty minus two A B C angle. BBC angle. BBC angle is here in this equation. Now you can write BBC angle. BBC angle plus DCB angle for this. You can write this because this two are equal. So plus one hundred eighty minus two AB angle equals one hundred eighty degrees. Then you can cancel one hundred eighty to one hundred eighty. Then this is BDC angle plus DCB angle equals. If you take this to the other side, it becomes positive. Positive two A B D angle. Express the magnitude of A B D. Yes, A B D. Then you can make A B D the subject here. A B D angle equals B D C angle plus D C B angle divided by two. Then this is the answer. A B D should be expressed in terms of B D C and D C. i will do another method of geometry to find the solution of this second one what we should do okay huh? express the magnitude of adb in terms of the magnitudes of dcb and cbd 
here you may have learned in geometry that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles, this and this. So BDE angle, BDE angle is equal to the addition of CBD opposite angles, CBD plus DC B, DC B, BDE. You know, BDE angle is equal to twice of BDA angle because DA is the angle bisector. Angle bisector. Angle bisector. Then you can substitute this one for this. Two B D A angle equals C B B angle plus D C B angle. This is A D B. Then A D B angle equals C B D angle plus D C B angle. This is axiom divided by, this should be divided by two. Right, that is the answer for the second one. B A D B A D angle is this you got here B A D angle. You have to show that this one B A D angle is this. <clears throat> In question number one, you got a result for ABD. ABD, you got a result for ABD, I think. ABD is what? ABD was equal to, in question number one, D, BDC, B D C angle plus D C B angle divided by two. In question number two, you got this result for A D B is A D B A D B angle equals A D B D B C D B C plus DCB divided by two. Then if you consider ABD triangle, sum of interior angles of it should be equal to 180 degrees. Then BAD angle equals 180 minus APD angle minus BATB angle. Angles of a triangle 
then that is 180 minus ABD. ABD is this. BDC angle plus BC B angle divided by 2 minus ADP is uh, D B C angle plus B C B angle divided by 2. Then it is equal to 180 degrees. Minus, if you take 2 as the common denominator, D, B, D, C minus plus, it becomes minus, no? Minus, plus, yes, it is plus, D, C, B minus, DBC minus DCB. DCB, DCB cancel. Right. Then it is equal to one hundred eighty minus. B D C angle divided by two plus D B C angle divided by two. BDC, BDC angle BDC is this. BCB, BCB angle is this. D C P D B C D B C D C oh yes wait D B C is this D B C is this B D C B D C B D C is this D B C B D C Right, shall I raise the top part? Now it is here BAD, BAD angle equals 180 minus instead of here BDC, BDC, BDC. You can write 180 minus twice of A, B, B. C, D, B, C. All right, okay, we can do it. Yeah, 180, not like this. You can take minus out, take minus out. Here minus no, this is one minus, take minus out. Then BDC plus DB 
C upon 2. Then it is 180 minus addition of these two. If you, that is 100 my, 180 minus what? 180 minus DC B. B or B D C B D C divided by two. Then it is one hundred eighty minus ninety minus B D C divided by two. Divide each term by 2. 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. Minus BDC angle divided by 2. Then that is the answer. Right. Simplify the expressions given below and write the answers in terms of positive indices. Okay, we will do that one. A to the power negative 3. A to the power negative 3. 2 multiplied by P to the power half. 8 divided by A to the power 2 times B to the power 3 to the power negative 2. It is easy. When we are not taking power of power, indices should be multiplied. Negative 6 multiplied by b to the power half times 8. Half times 8 is 4. Divided by a to the power negative 4 then. Why? Power for power no? Negative 4. Multiplied by negative 2 times 3 is b to the negative 6. <coughs> Then what we should do is when dividing indices should be subtracted. Negative six subtracting negative four. Yeah. Right. Then here for B terms, four subtracting negative six. When dividing, indices should be subtracted. Then it is a negative six. Negative, negative, positive 4 times B for negative, negative, positive 6. Then it is equal to A to the power negative 2. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. B to the power 10. B is in positive index, doesn't matter. But A is with negative index. So we have to get it into a positive index. By taking it into the green at a place, a to the power two. Then. This is the answer. Right. Then shall we move to the second question? Second question. X to the power three multiplied by two y squared times t to the power three divided by two y to the power 0 to the power 3 multiplied by x to the power negative 2 multiplied by t to the power negative half and to the power 2. Then it is equal to x to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2 is 4 y squared times t to the power 3. You simplify power for power we multiply now power power then 2 to the power 3 it is 8 2 to the power 3 is 8 y to the power 0 is 1 no need to write 1 so multiply x to the power negative 2 multiplied by power for power you multiply those two indices t to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 1 2 to 2 cancel negative 1 then x to the power negative 2 should be taken to the numerator place. Then it is x to the power 3 plus 2. Negative 2 comes it as positive 2. 
Mm. And here you can cancel out 4 and 8. 8 divided by 8, 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 1. Here y squared t t t to the power 3, negative 1 taken to this side, it becomes positive 1 at d. Divided by only this x2 is there. Then if you simplify x to the power 5, y to the power 2, t to the power 4 divided by 2. That is the answer. <laughs>